So I called out to a, a leaking bar. So I just have a look at the, the trap and as you can see it's leaking from somewhere. Nice old copper one. So it's pretty obvious where, <laughs> where this is leaking from. Um, I think this, this trap survived the war so that will probably explain why the copper has been eaten away. But yeah, get that replaced and sorted. So just changing this electric shower today, um, it's fully given up so just easier to replace it. So starting off, just remove the shower hose. This one's a little bit tight so use the grips on there. And then make sure you've disconnected the electrics before you do this but there's normally one screw at the bottom and two on the top that keep the front case on. Once you've undone them, it will just come right off. Yeah, again, just make sure that's off before you start touching any electrics. Always use a, uh, like a voltage tester like this, um, just to, you know, as a bit of an indication, just to make sure that there's nothing going through there. Obviously, you should normally properly use a um, multimeter, but yeah, I'll just use this. And then just need to slack, slacken that nut off there. Uh, there's a screw at the bottom, just in there. Uh, meant to be one there, but there isn't on this one. And uh, one at the top there. Just remove them and uh, yeah, should come out. So I'm just disconnecting the water or the mains to the shower now. Um, Obviously make sure that the, the water's off before you do this because otherwise you might have a different type of shower. Give it a bit of a wiggle and uh, comes right out. So I managed to delete the clip between this one and the last one but yeah I got the new shower on the wall, uh, all the screws in. Uh, so yeah all the electrics connected as well so now just to remove this riser rail I forgot to put these in uh, I can't be the only one that's guilty of doing this but always seem to forget to do them all right got them in now but yeah always seem to forget that so I just take this off and uh, fit the new one right so it's off and uh, ready to get a new one on. So a new one's on, and as you can see, it's a little bit shorter than the, the previous one, so there's a little screw hole at the bottom. Tip to get plugs out, just get a little screw, stick it in there, and it comes right out. So I get a bit of silicon in that. Got a bit of clear silicon, I didn't have white, but such is life. So today, changing a couple of towel rails. Uh, got the plum thumbs on there. So this is still full of water, but yeah. So I thought this was going to be quite a nice easy one with the uh, screw holes in the same place but annoyingly the new towel rail comes with these types of brackets so they go around the bars instead of between them and there's only three. So make sure before you drill any holes or anything just make sure you know where the brackets go. Annoyingly I just deleted the uh, the second part of that, uh, that job with the, the towel rails so I got them on the wall but I, I just 
as I went to put it in the, the editing app, it, I deleted it for some reason. So permanently deleted, which is lovely. So I'm just changing out this broken bleed valve or vent on a, on a radiator with a new one. So what you want to do is turn off both the valves and basically undo it slightly uh, just to let any uh, air or water or pressure or whatever come out and then you can just simply unscrew it and screw a new one in. old one out and new one in. That drip was residual water. Starting a new one today, uh, bringing a hot and cold from the, uh, from the air and cupboard above along here and down to two outside taps so that the customer can use it for their business and a cold feed there for a fridge at the side of the wall. Also got a technical drawer in on the back of a plumb base receipt. <laughs> We've all done them. Right, so I've got the cold down to the where the tap's going to go, um, taking it up and along. There's made two little holes up from upstairs there. Um, that's where the airing cupboard is, so I'm going to um, bring the pipes down there, then take it along to this cold, and then a T over there to go down for the fridge the other side of that wall there. For the hot, um, just going to go straight through and then along and down to there and then I can then I can lag it. So with this job I'm um, really trying to not use any elbows, uh, just want to use pull bends um, but yeah just a personal little kind of challenge I set myself.
So hot and colds are done from the taps, they go along and then up into the airing cupboard, offset over that cable, and then a little valve there for the fridge. Uh, just need to make a little hole here for the fridge. So these are the hot and cold that are poked up through the ceiling. So I'm just going to take them up, up this wall and then along and then connect onto the hot and the cold here. I've also got to try and fit a water softener in there somehow. So I'm all done. Got the hot and the cold there. Just going down through the carpet or through the floor. Um, and then connect down to the hot and the cold and got the water softener all done with the the drain all sorted as well so yeah thanks for watching this week's video um sorry for the no upload last week like i said my little boy was poorly and then my little girl got poorly so it was just uh yeah i didn't really do any editing or filming that week because i was off for, off for a few days to kind of help out look after him um, as well as going to the hospital at not three in the morning. So yeah, um, that's all sorted now. They're all good. So happy about that. Um, and then with that last job, when I was, when I've just been editing this, um, I noticed in the last clip with the, the parts of the water softener, they looked really fucking unlevel. Um, but I mean, when I put them in, they were put in with a laser level, so they're definitely, definitely level. It's just, I don't know, the camera or something. But I know everyone says, you know, blame the camera and not the, the workmanship, but they were level because I don't like doing work that's uh, unlevel and looks shit. So, yeah, thanks for watching this, this week's video and like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. And hopefully soon I should have a giveaway, so stay tuned for that. And then also thinking of doing a bit of a Instagram live uh, one lunchtime with uh, Mark. So yeah, write down in the comments what sort of questions you want me to answer and uh, I'll make a list and just go through them all on the live. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.